come to the manufacturing process this is professor venkata chalapathi at the institute of aeronautical engineering so dear students i would like to share some basic idea about the compression molding in general as i have discussed earlier manufacturing process the term manufacturing process can be defined as it is the process of converting raw material into a finished product in this we have so many processes are available as per the material concerned as per the mission and as per the process and this especially compression molding it is most widely used for the thermoplastic uh, thermosetting plastic materials so the compression molding can be used for thermosetting molding process and today i would like to uh, give a some outline of uh, compression molding how it will uh, uh, do the process what are the important advantages applications and uh, other related information in this class uh, we can able to understand clearly now let us see as you know that molding is a forming process so in general who has studied the metal casting process there is a series of uh, process will be available their pattern making and uh, once the pattern making you should prepare a mold mold cavity then molten metal can be prepared somewhere else and uh, bringing the molten metal into the pour the mold mold cavity and giving the solidification time and finally you may uh, retract the mold will get the final casting product but this is compression molding so molding in the sense there will be a die or press so in that uh, how you can able to perform with the help of the some presses also that's why it is a forming process forming is you know the exact amount of material can be effectively utilized so the molding is a forming process in this uh, i would like to discuss how exactly the compression molding works and what are the uh, this uses of this compression molding what does uh, the applications uh, do for this type of process and uh, this and all we will discuss uh, in this class and here as you know that compression molding process it is followed by two step first one is preheating and here first the mold uh, here the raw material which is in a some pellet form so initially it can be available in a some powder and that can be uh, we can press it and like a pellet form you can first preheat that raw material then you can able to pressurize with the help of the presses so in general the compression molding process so most widely used for thermosetting materials so as you know that thermosetting materials means uh, uh, urea formaldehyde melamine formaldehyde silicones etc in thermosetting material uh, before going to enter into the compression molding process first let us know what is the basic difference between a thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics as you know that thermo plastic so thermoplastic it can be a, how we can define first you can take the raw material first you can raw material can be heat what will happen it may be soften then again it is cool and it may be hardened it may be hardened so again if it is heat and it may be soften the process continues so here in thermoplastic materials there are uh, we can use the reuse well, for example if you take a polyethylene polypropylene and pvc these all comes under the thermoplastic material this thermoplastic can be reusable multiple types even uh, that's what effective utilization of the raw material but here thermo setting is different from the thermoplastic thermoplastics are reusable plastics but whereas thermo setting means thermo setting this you can say first you can take the raw material 
when you heat what will happen it may soften then if it is cool then it may be hardened then if it is a heat it may be decompose so here this you can to do this okay so here only the material thermo setting material can be used only one time when you heat it and it may soften and when it is cool it may be hardened the final only one step process so first heating and cooling uh, in this case the compression molding process followed by two step first one is preheating and pressurizing so the raw material will kept in the mold and you can uh, pre preform like a initially it is in uh, some pellet form this you can free form and with the some temperature and then you can use to apply the pressurized then here the most important parameter in the compressed molding is curing so this i will discuss in detail in the next coming slides on that but here first of all you should be able to understand the basic difference between thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics so coming to uh, i would like to give some basic important uh, thermoplastic material and thermo setting material so as you know that thermoplastics thermo plastics thermo setting so this thermoplastic means all uh, uh, polythenes polyethylene so that is ldp low density polyethylene high density polyethylene lldp linear low density polyethylene and polypropylene and pvc these are number of materials are available this can be reusable nowadays uh, every day we are consuming more than 50 kg of material uh, this uh, thermoplastic materials uh, as you know that uh, we wake up uh, brushing our teeth with nylon bristles yes or no and after taking bath with the plastic buckets that uh, plastic buckets is made up of uh, uh, this uh, uh, polypropylene okay and uh, some uh, dinner wares so dinner wares are all made up of thermo setting material that uh, we are going to discuss like that while uh, we are going by transportation two wheeler or four wheeler so many thermo and thermo setting uh, plastic materials are available by having the lunch with the dinner wares a lot of uh, plastic components can be used water bottles or pet bottles and uh, by uh, uh, having the dress and the socks is nylon socks and uh, if you go a walk and playing the uh, some rockets so that is also plastic material uh, shuttle uh, rockets etc and while uh, going to bed uh, we should use the some net net also nylon net so that's why every day we can consume more than some 50 kg of uh, uh, plastic material but uh, as you think that some people are they can able to know how we are going to use this material but uh, this thermoplastic material can be reusable but whereas thermo setting materials uh, this only basically five most important times one is pf phenol formaldehyde melamine formaldehyde urea formaldehyde silicon silicon so these are the four major important thermo setting this is in a powder form this is in a powder form but where this is in a granule forms thermo plastic materials are in a granule form but thermo setting materials are in powder form and that powder can be uh, preheated then you can able to pressurize giving the curing time finally you are going to get the the final uh, product of this uh, compression molding process i hope uh, uh, now you can understand the molding is a forming process and uh, compression molding is the process followed by two step first step is preheating and second step is pressurizing the pressurizing with the help of the some type of presses so how much uh, pressure is required that type of uh, 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 turn presser uh, the presses only can be used okay and now let us see 
a simple diagrammatic representation of compression molding so how they can able to perform uh, the final component you can see the first there are there will be a one uh, base this is a base and above the base they can put uh, lower fixed mold half there will be two part of the mold lower half upper half yes or no first uh, in this base you can keep the uh, mold and uh, inside the mold in the green color th this is the material raw material raw material in the sense in the thermo uh, setting material like uh, urea formaldehyde melvin formaldehyde or silicone uh, so this all comes under the thermo setting material this once you have to used it cannot be used to reused oh, okay that's what i have explained in earlier slides and all and this another name we can call it also it is a charge it is a charge then upper is once you have to keep the charge exactly amount what amount of the component uh, we can weight it and the same amount of the material can be used here there is no material wastage no material wastage okay so here you can see simply you can able to do first preheating so first here you can close it first preheat preheating is once you have to done the preheating what will happen all this powder form and all will is in a some uh, preheated some pellet form this is also some pellet form it cannot disturb with the air uh, anything will happen so once it is a, a pellet form can be kept uh, and uh, this is also called the charge you can name it as and uh, once uh, you can uh, uh, this press can be upper upper movable mold have will come into here and you can apply the some pressure so pressure is depending upon it is a one ton press or two ton press what are the uh, compression pressure is required the same amount of uh, pressure can be applied and then another important thing so after pressing you can give some curing time this is very very important it should cure. even you can see the uh, while construction of uh, buildings and all uh, that uh, uh, cement and uh, silica and concrete and all they will uh, make it a cure so that the strength can be increased in this uh, thermo setting materials also while uh, doing the compression molding process the curing is the one of the most important parameter it will take minimum one hour one hour to more two hours also you have to cure if you do the more curing then only the product will be stronger it will be stronger and uh, it can withstand for a longer period of time so as you know that in this figure you can clearly understand that there will be a mold one half and uh, lower half above half the charge will be kept in the below half of the mold and upper mold once the charge can be kept the upper mold can be moved slowly downwards with the some hydraulic or pneumatic type of application and once you have to apply the pressure then you can able to give some curing time with the uh, temperature so approximately the temperature of the material uf material melamine formaldehyde what type of material can be used that you can able to do it okay so and here once the curing is over what will happen you can mold can be opened and here there will be ejector pin is there by using of ejector pin the product will be come out from the uh, what type of mold it is available the same amount component can be coming out so this is a general process of compression molding process in traditionally it can be used uh, that electrical switches dinner weights and uh, cooker handles uh, most all these components can be made from the compression molding process okay now let us see this already i explained the compression molding in the sense it is only used for the thermo setting plastic material that is what uh, uf mf uh, and uh, pf that is phenol formaldehyde melamine formaldehyde urea formaldehyde and uh, silicone these are the four most widely used uh, raw materials for the thermo setting plastic material and where the in compression molding and another process transfer molding also this thermo setting plastic material can be used only uh, this uh, 
compression and transfer molding. The transfer molding we will discuss in the later but today you should be able to understand a clear idea about how you can able to prepare a component by using of compression molding process. Okay. So look at see when you discuss in the history in uh, uh, 1847. So initially plastic molding compound is known as Florence compound. We can also call it as a Florence compound. So this can be invented by the Alfred Kritz Clough. So founded in the Pro Corporation Company Florence MA in 1847 itself. The Pro is said to be the first plastic molding company. So during 1870, the you can see the from the diagram, you can clearly understand the this is a handmade mold for hand held mirror. So you can see handheld. We traditionally have seen the how they can use the hand uh, uh, held mirror. Okay, uh, the most probably women and ladies can use this type of uh, in olden days. Okay, and here this image also collected from the course one. Uh, you know education and this is for for clear understanding of the when it was started it is not a recently the compression molding from the history in during 1847 itself uh, they can made with the hand mold process and but nowadays it has been automized so many processes and so many techniques has been introduced so that uh, the process can be very easily and uh, uh, sound component can be obtained with the help of the this uh, manufacturing process okay now this is what a sample uh, component made by the uh, compression molding process where that company yeah, is pro corporation this is a handmade mold for the handheld mirror look at another important thing large scale compression molding press so whenever you can see the uh, uh, if you wanted to produce a more number of components so there are a that that large size, large size and a lot. This is a thermoplastics are very very easy and you can able to produce lakhs and lakhs of components within a stipulated time. But whereas uh, thermo setting plastic components in, by making a compression molding process very less per shift you can uh, with the number single and double digits only can able to make and because the curing time is the one of the most important here. Once the curing time uh, is uh, not given properly the product may be failure so here the product may be failure total loss of the component that is why the people are you should take care about the this uh, compression molding process you should uh, follow the all the uh, preheating and pressing and uh, curing uh, and uh, final finishing some flashes also coming out of that also will be trimmed by manually so otherwise uh, that uh, may be some problem in the final taking this components. Uh, so these two diagrams you can see in 1935 this is a large scale compression molding press. So this is a large scale it is I think it is more than 1000 tons uh, capacity it, it, it may be I think so. But here uh, in the second diagram you can see how the human. Uh, they are doing performing the some uh, flashes extra material come out but compared to that uh, casting here very very less uh, amount of uh, flash because flash means when you apply the uh, two molds lower mold and upper mold uh, while pressing some if you use the correct amount of raw material there is no amount of getting the flash suppose if uh, there is a 0.1 or 0.2 percent of uh, material come out automatically there may be flash come out of during that high pressure okay that flash can be removed by some uh, uh, supervisors and uh, workers so that only this is our uh, radio cabinets in traditional you can use uh, X, X core radio cabinets and uh, this also image can be collected from the post one uh, you know na education because uh, I, I hope uh, Compression molding in the sense presses traditionally manually if you perform more flash and more uh, drawbacks may be occur nowadays uh, if you use the uh, automated and uh, pneumatical and uh, some hydraulic type of presses can be used uh, effective uniform pressure can be applied so that the component also very sound and effective and the quality product may be obtained due to this uh, compression molding process okay. So coming to this now let us see how the process of compression molding process first the first thing is in a 
any type of compression molding process. So first they can, there are, this is a lower half mold. This is a lower half mold and this is a upper half mold, upper half mold, okay. So inside there is a uh, some preform black color and some red color will be there. Initially we can put some powder form, if you preheat it, it will become some a pellet form. So this powder also can be preheated in some other uh, uh, some of woven sandal and that directly pellet form can take into the concentration here. So otherwise uh, some uh, powder particle sandal will be surrounded in the mold and uh, that may lead to some flash may be occur uh, that was a defect by after that uh, to eliminate the flash it is a laborious process. Okay. So first you can measure the how much quantity of the powder is required for the making the certain component. For example, this type of component can be made, how much uh, weight of this component, that amount of the powder will be kept in this uh, mold and we can uh, close it and by applying the pressure and giving some curing time, that is what we should be able to use the curing time, not less than one hour, we should uh, depending upon the component depending upon the strength, uh, depending upon the material, it can be very the material to material, almost or minimum 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hours also it may be happen to become a some good strength of product, okay. So this is what about first step is the, we can measure the powder and we can keep it in a powder form or pellet form. And second important thing is, second process is how we can close the mold under heat and pressure. So once we can close the mold and there, there will be heaters will be there here, some heaters can be provided. So due to heat, uh, it will be in a some uh, uh, good in uh, inside some crystal central will be close together and uh, it will be very good form and uh, after closing that uh, due to uniform heat and pressure, it may be get what are the shape of the component, uh, it may be affixed and that after that you should give the more curing time, then only you can able to apply uh, this uh, second step. And third important step is the finally the mold opens, once the curing time is over, curing time is over. Then you can open mold slowly and uh, the component will be ejected. So there will be ejector at the bottom. So by applying this ejector pin, it, it will come here and uh, the product will become here. And so that with the help of the flanges and some players, uh, uh, components can be take the final product. This is the shape of the product. What type of uh, shape it is the replica of the uh, mold so that can be done. This is the final product. You can see how uh, simple as this compression process. Okay, first you can open the mold, you can pour the raw material in a pellet form, then closes under heat and pressure. What are the required heat and pressure you can set in the automatic controls, and uh, after that, you should give the curing time. Then you can open the mold, and uh, that product can be removed with the ejector pins. Ejector pins. So this is what about the a simple compression molding process uh, where generally the application is dinner waves uh, and electrical switches and uh, some of the uh, bumpers also that uh, can be used in this compression molding process. Uh, here another thing very interesting the what are the stages in compression molding cycle. So this you should be able to what will done inside that uh, process before I have explained the three steps as you know these three steps this can be explained with the help of a simple uh, graphical representation in x-axis time and y-axis the mold closing force so initially tf okay so the first and final okay so how the flow of raw material flow of raw material when the time initially it is slow and the time is increases after my curing time, that is what if the flow can be smoothly and occur and the, whenever the curing reaction occur, uh, the compression can be done effectively. So this is what uh, the while closing the mold force and parallelly 
with the heat and pressure and the curing if you do the proper curing definitely the inside molecules and all will stick together uh, the strength will be very very good and uh, active and you can use the uh, variety type of application even if you put it on the floor also it can break so that's why this type of uh, uh, graph uh, it easily represent the what the three stages will occur in this initially slowly it will increase then plasticization flow and while compression it will come out okay so this is what about the three stages of uh, compression molding cycle and look at uh, what are the parameters these are the one important thing uh, what is the exact quantity of the charge should be taken into the the required amount for uh, this is the component for example it is the 50 grams you can use the same 50 grams amount of the raw material okay and uh, once you can put it on the mold and how much pressure so what type of pressure for example range should be if you take the uh, fes system 2000 to 3000 pounds per square inches okay otherwise uh, if you take in mpa our sa system uh, mega pascal one pascal is equal to newton per uh, meter square that is 13.8 to 20.7 we can widely use it for the pressure range similarly the temperature also temperature also 300 degree Fahrenheit to 375 if you convert into a centigrade 149 to 191 degree centigrade so here compression molding mainly it shows that how how much pressure you can able to select and what is the temperature and the curing this uh, the fourth very important parameter is the curing time curing time shows the finishing of the component strength of the component uh, effectiveness of the component will judge if you give the proper curing term in general the people are not in a uh, hurry worry they don't have patience uh, they don't give the proper curing terms suddenly the component may be burst and they may be breakdown also occur so that is why the curing time can be defined as the time period required to harden the thermosetting material to partial and complete the polymerization occur that is called the curing time okay so in general curing time depending upon the component depending upon the application depending upon the usage only either one hour it can be used or two hour can be used or uh, three hours also sometimes so we can able to large type of capacity should give the more curing time these are the basic parameters which is uh, essentially understand the the compression molding process that is quantity of the charge pressure mold temperature and curing time variables look at so this is a, a clear cut understanding of the some uh, press so the mold can be fixed with a press it is a uh, hydraulic press or sometimes pneumatic presses also available sometimes mechanical presses also is there what are the requirement of our component how much tonnage of presses required based on that only can able to use in this uh, diagram you can clearly see the the base is in the green color yellow is the uh, how uh, this uh, compressive assembly exactly how much pressure this is a compressive assembly so that uniformly it can able to have all the material so in general if you apply manually only some side only hard sometimes very low so that is manual it is a automatic means uniform if you take the how much amount of the powder uniformly the pressure can be applied that's why uh, that heavy components can be used for this okay so this is what the same the rose color is a half mold above green color of mold this uh, light yellow color is the pellet or powder that is thermo setting material can be used okay and coming to this uh, how uh, you can see the uh, this some black holes so that uh, uh, ejector pins you can able to some uh, uh, fixing of the molds so they can use and weightless uh, you can make uh, some holes of that molds this is what about a some image uh, which i have been collected from the some uh, application of this compression molding process you can see how the ejector plate can be used to remove the component slowly and so that without without distracting and without disturbing the component effectively okay so this is what about the uh, complete idea of the compression molding process 
So another important, there are two basic types of compressed molding. One is SMC and second one is BMC. SMC sheet molding process. So this is like a glass mat or a between sandwich layers of the thermoplastics. And sometimes the second most important thing is bulk molding compound BMC. So where the billet is the most widely used and so that efficiently it can be placed distributed with a long reinforcement occur in the BMC rather than the SMC. Coming to the advantages of uh, this compression molding process, uh, obviously these are the series of advantages where you can able to perform the lower cost, okay, and more uniform density. The raw material can be uniformly can be applied the pressure and temperature. The shrinkage also occur very very uniform. And the flow of the raw materials also very smoothly can be occur, and there will be more impact strength. So due to no degradation of fibers during the flow and uh, dimension like it is a mirror like surface finish like this mirror how in a glass like that uh, process can be applied in this compressed molding process and internal stresses warping can be minimized. this is uh, some defect uh, sometimes may occur this can because of high temperature any internal stresses warping can be removed or relieved from this process and coming to this disadvantages curing time is large that is what uh, when you wanted to make one component will take the three hours or two hours but whereas in the thermoplastic materials only with the frank one shift you can made a, some lakhs and lakhs of components but in the compression molding only uh, digits uh, 100 components 50 components because curing time is more that will take a 20 a disadvantage it's uneven parting lines so here the pressure can be applied unified and where the parting above and below is not there directly what are the shape of the mold that can be and scrap cannot be reprocessed. This is what thermo setting itself, the material cannot be reused. That will be wastage of material only. And the major and important application is the dinner weights. So while you can eating the breakfast and all, that dinner weights are one of the most useful application. And the buttons, the buttons also, uh, these buttons some black uh, the color uh, they can use the pigments for color white rose under but it process can be used for thermo setting and compression molding process some of the knobs knobs for example even if you take the screwdriver knobs and all uh, that is also made up of uh, this uh, compression molding process and the appliance housings housings uh, cooker handle made up of uh, this compression molding radio cases Traditionally, we can use the very big size radius as well, that uh, at the time they can most widely use it for the compression process. And nowadays also we can use the automotive exterior panels, some bumpers, some commercial uh, vehicles, you can use the compression molding process. Some ash trays, uh, tea trays, ash trays and uh, some of the electrical switches also made from this uh, compression molding process. This is what about the basic application of the products of the compression molding process. And in general, the materials used in this process only thermosetting polymer. That is what, what I told uh, urea formaldehyde, melamine formaldehyde and the silicones and PF phenol formaldehyde. These are the only four widely used material for thermosetting. And fiber reinforced glass uh, composite means sometimes uh, they can add some silica glass fiber to become a more strength. And thermoplastics also some uh, UHMWP that is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene can be some applications can be used and some longer uh, glass fiber reinforced thermoplastics also used in this process that is uh, th three is very rare process and some rare applications can be used to this material okay and uh, coming to these properties so the properties also one of the major important for the raw material density strength uh, and this uh, fiber orientation you can see the second diagram shows that uh, it is a linear or cross-linked uh, if you have this type of orientation the strength will be more strength will be more so this flow of uh, raw materials also will be occur smoothly even the corners also more strength will be done this fiber orientation introduce the good material flow in the mold occurs okay and shrinkage warpage wrappage means uh, some flashes also come occurs uh, if you are not uh, do the good orientation so that can be removed by the some extra process 
So these are the reference I referred for this process. Thank you, thank you for uh, this uh, lecture for complete idea of the compression molding process, which is the one of the subset of the manufacturing process. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.